and today we're going to do our practical evaluation for the cerebellum. The cerebellum is the part of the brain in the back that coordinates our movement without our ever having to think about it. So we bend over and tie our shoes, we don't have to think about our back muscles. And people who have problems with their cerebellum, they know that they have to think about all the movements that they do. They have to really um, be more conscious of that. <clears throat> and that's a sign that their cerebellum is not working. So let's run through the practical examination. These are tests that you can do at home to uh, evaluate whether your cerebellum is working for you. So the first test we do is put our feet together and then close our eyes. And we're looking for swaying or something like that, some uh, uncoordination. From this position, we bring our arms up in front of us and we're looking for any deviation. So if they come up and they're like this, we know that, that the cerebellum is probably not coordinating well. From this position, we use our pinkies, again with the eyes closed, and we take the pinky into the nose. And it's tip to tip, just like that. And tip to tip on the other side. And if there's a problem with the cerebellum, we'll notice things like this and you'll need a, somebody to watch you. They'll come in and they'll be shaky or inaccurate, depending upon. Then we open our eyes and now with the index fingers, in the examination you'll have somebody um, put a finger out here. Or you could use a target on the wall or something like that. But you bring the index finger into the nose and then out to the other person's finger. Into the nose, out, and you can watch, you can watch. And you'll see things like little sh shakes and, and misses. And for the cerebellum, the side that has the greatest trouble is the side where the cerebellum is the weakest or sickest or um, whatever we might call it. The next test we do is to look at um, alternating movements. So we can do the fingers, like playing the piano, and we'll just look for uncoordination on one side, then we use the wrists, and you'll have somebody just watch you, and if, if one hand is flopping and one hand is going like this and this hand is going slower, that's a failure of um, that coordination system. And then we bring the arms in and we flop them like this, we wave goodbye. And we're looking again for one side that's not uh, coordinating, coordinating effectively. So that's the uh, home-based tests. And the real tests that we use in the office, and there's some more advanced tests that we look at that I have to observe your eyes, um, it, you know, have a clinical observation of what's going on there. But those tests you can do at home, you can see pretty obviously if something is going on or not. <laughs> so... Good luck with your tests.